So the players were back in today after two days off. It was a 1.30 start for training. As you can see behind me, they're all going down to some serious work. And watching on from the sidelines, really lovely to see Robbie DiMatteo. Now to one side, the two fit keepers are working with Christoph Lolli, Sean Hilario and Rhys Taylor. While earlier today, out on his own doing some running, was Petr Cech. Now, I know what you're wanting to know about is the go-karting contested between the reserves and the youth. And Rhys Taylor will be filling you in on everything a little bit later. But it's been a really busy day today. Ben Saha currently on loan with Sheffield Wednesday. He popped in to say hi and Scott Minto has been down at training. He interviewed Frank Lampard before everything started for an interview for an article for the Chelsea magazine. So they were quietly getting on with that upstairs. Now the main event today, this is the big one. It's the final of the pool competition. Everyone's been involved. It's taken very seriously. The final two, Brendan Rodgers, the reserve coach, and Captain John Terry. Now we uh, had a little chat with Brendan and he said he's feeling a little bit nervous. We don't know when it's going to kick off exactly, but we've got cameras there. We're going to be carrying out post-match reaction, so please keep watching out for that. Now, elsewhere, the youth they were training this morning, they face Cardiff at home tomorrow. Don't forget, second leg Youth Cup final, that's next Wednesday. So if you can come to Cobham tomorrow at 11 o'clock, please come along and just support them and say hi. So you're pretty much up to date with everything. We haven't even mentioned the hailstorm that nearly knocked us out earlier, the wind that nearly blew us away, the rain that's been falling, and the press conference for Wigan, that is taking place Sunday afternoon. So now, yes, I'm getting to it. It's the go karting who did what who won what here's Reese Taylor starting off with the best driver of the lot I think Jimmy was the best because he'd been driving the longest but I did okay I come third but there were some poor poor turn ups from the boys you have to name a couple of the players who are not very good um, Patrick Van Alholt he was shocking every time there's a yellow flag he, he don't care just overtake and do what you want but um, the worst out of the lot was Carl the um, fitness coach, he was awful, he was crawling, I think his fastest time of the day was a minute or something stupid like that, he was crawling along. Now you spoke about yellow flags but I also believe there were quite a lot of red flags and at one point you were all hauled off the circuit. Yeah there was a dodge, but I don't think anyone seen it to be honest, well that was our excuse, but we were trying to slow down but everyone was overtaking so we didn't want to stop. Was it a good day out because things are so busy and they're pretty crazy at the moment, was it nice just to spend the afternoon doing that? Yeah it was nice, we had a session in the morning. And then we went to uh, have a have a mess about. Really, it was good good time for the lads. Now everyone is obviously talking about the goalkeeping situation, the injury first to Petr Cech and then to Carlo Cudicini. What have you been told about the situation in terms of would you be needed? Are you here to stay training with the first team? Yeah, I'm in today with them, but I'm taking it every day as it comes at the moment. So hopefully I'll know more today. You've been on the bench for the first team before. What kind of a feeling is that? Oh, it's brilliant to be so young and on the bench for such a big club. But, you know, I, I take it in my stride and it's, everything's okay. But for you, there's a lot to prepare for because we can't forget Wednesday, it's the second leg of the Youth Cup final. Yeah, it's a big game, that's on my mind as well. But this week I've just got to take every day as it comes, as I said, and uh, worry about things when they come. How often have you trained with the first team before? I've been with them quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, that's quite regularly, honestly. Yeah. So if the call came, they said, we need you on the bench for Wigan, you'd be there and ready to go? Yeah, I'd be fine. I'm, I'm feeling quite good and uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Thank you and good luck with no, that. Thank you.